I'm one of the general secretaries of the Green Mountain Industrial Workers of the World, uh, which is a radical labor union and one of the uh, organizers of today's festival here at Battery Park. We're having our working class picnic in honor of uh, today's holiday, Labor Day. We're here to celebrate all the things that the labor movement has won, like a weekend, like a 40 hour work week, like overtime pay, but we're also here to remember the things that we haven't won and the things that we are still fighting for. Things like universal workers' rights and rights for workers who aren't currently represented and can't be represented under current law. We're here to remember uh, the struggle for a 32 hour work week like Senator Sanders has recently come out in support of. And so we're here to uh, both celebrate and reflect on how we can uh, push for stronger labor rights and representation in the United States. All right, hi, uh, my name is Hugh. I'm here with the uh, Party for Socialism and Liberation, and we are running uh, Claudia and Karina for uh, president. They're, they're on the ballot in Vermont. Um, we're, uh, we're interested in socialism and liberation, and our platform, our, our big four things is seize the biggest hundred corporations, end all U.S. aid to apartheid Israel, end the genocide and free Palestine, cut the military budget by 90%, peace, not war, with China and Russia, and save the planet from capitalism. And if you're interested, uh, look us up on votesocialist2024.com. Thank you. Fire now to stop Israel's genocide and ethnic cleansing of Palestinians, to provide unrestricted humanitarian aid to Palestinians, to free all Palestinian hostages and prisoners, to defend the civil rights of Palestinians and Palestine solidarity activists, to stop all U.S. aid to Israel, to enforce boycott, divestment, and sanctions against Israel, to end Israel's siege, occupation, and apartheid system, and for equal rights for Palestinians, including but not limited to Palestinians' right to self-determination and right to return. We're also talking about the Apartheid Free Communities Pledge here. Um, Burlington and Vermont have a ton of healthcare workers, and in that sector of labor, we're particularly focused on the medical apartheid that the Israeli government and military is imposing on Palestine, um, the destruction of healthcare facilities, the targeting of healthcare workers, the destruction of clean water um, and toileting facilities. So, uh, I mean, you know, I'm a renter, and the cost of housing's been going up faster than wages for the last five decades. Um, we have homelessness in this town in Burlington and all over this state, all over this country. Um, we have people who can't afford their insulin, uh, people who can't afford a car repair, um, and 900 military bases scattered around the world that um, cost almost a trillion dollars a year. And so, you know, we've come together to say, let's spend our money, labor creates all wealth, on housing, healthcare, and social services, on things that improve our lives, improve, um, yeah, like our, this town, what, what we're doing. Um, and we've tried electoral politics, you know, we've elected some uh, progressives, um, but we've also seen how that has uh, let us down. Um, the Democratic Party has been, um, for almost a year now, uh, on the one hand saying that they are working towards a ceasefire, at the same time that they're giving billions of dollars in um, F-35 
F-5s, F-16s, uh, drones, missiles, missile systems, as, as well as intelligence systems, um, intelligence assets. And um, I think the best way to understand this conflict is that President Biden and um, candidate Kamala Harris, the vice president, are driving this conflict. And, um, you know, Kamala and Trump seem to be aligned on continuing to write um, Israel, whether it's Netanyahu or it's someone else, a blank check uh, for violence. Um, Israel's a unsinkable aircraft carrier in the middle of the Middle East, and that's important to uh, destabilizing the Middle East for uh, U.S.-led imperialist interests. And so what can we do? <laughs> you know, we can vote for a Democrat or we can vote for a Republican. Doesn't look like Jill Stein's going to win or Claudia uh, De La Cruz is going to win. What we can do is get all of our unions together to say enough is enough. We are not putting our money into this war machine. We want our money to go into housing and healthcare, uh, education, things that improve our lives. Uh, the vast majority of Americans support this agenda. And we can strike. The labor movement is not currently ready to do that. And as a preparatory step, we, we just need to get on the same page. Uh, we've tried passing resolutions in many of our uh, unions. So I think uh, Planned Parenthood here locally has passed a ceasefire resolution. Um, Howard Center has passed a resolution. Um, are there any other unions that I'm missing that have passed some? There's some solidarity caucuses um, in the various unions. Uh, but yeah, th I think Labor for Palestine is uh, it's a vehicle for doing what we're not uh, able to do with electoral politics, which is um, hopefully defund the um, U.S. war machine. Hi, my name is Dee Graham. And I'm Meryl Davis. Um, and we're workers at Planned Parenthood of Northern New England, and we're here representing our union, Planned Parenthood of Northern New England United. Um, we're in the middle of bargaining our second contract right now, and some of the things that we're fighting for currently are... Equity and diversity in hiring and for, uh, for staff generally, uh, sustainability for our patients. Yeah. And fair and livable wages for all of us. Yeah. My name's Keith Brunner. I live in the Old North End, uh, and I volunteer with the Vermont Workers Center. We're a statewide membership organization that's been around in Vermont since 1998. Uh, and since the financial crisis of 2008, we've been organizing for the human right to health care. Um, and the health care crisis we've seen in Vermont and across the country has only gotten worse in the 15 years that the campaign has been going on. Um, right now, in particular, in Vermont, there's talk of even shutting down some of the state's 14 hospitals, which would be a huge crisis for folks, especially in rural regions and, and poor folks, um, and many of us. Um, and so there's a real need for this work today. Uh, unions, community members, disability rights organizations, um, people are coming together to say health care is a human right. We need a universal, publicly financed health care system. Uh, and on Monday, Monday, September 23rd, we're having a rally at the Vermont Supreme Court on the steps of the Supreme Court in Montpelier, um, actually charging our health care system, putting our health care system on trial and saying we charge policy murder, that actually the policy of denying people health care uh, on the basis of a health care system that's uh, run for the benefit of Wall Street is a form of policy violence against our community. So if people are free, Monday, September 23rd, come on out at 12 p.m. in Montpelier. More at workercenter.org.